channel coding with Sudhir. So today we are going to learn about the Java database connectivity practical application. We all learn the theory of Java database connectivity, but today we are going about to know about the practical application. So let's start the video. Before starting the video, I will like to inform you that for this you will need two programming languages or two applications that is Java NetBeans ID and MySQL database. So both these applications installation video is available on this channel. You can refer to the description box or you can refer to the previous videos available on this channel. So moving forward. Java NetBeans ID and MySQL ID. We have to connect this. So for connecting these two, we are going to use connected J driver that is JDBC. So let's see how we will download it. First of all, we have to open the Chrome browser and in the search box, we have to search connector J. After searching connector J, you will be able to see here download connector J is showing. So we have to click here. After clicking on it, you are able to see here that by default, Microsoft Windows operating system has been selected. But since Java language is a platform independent language. So here we have to select platform independent. Okay. After selecting platform independent, you will be able to see here two files. One is having file size 4 MB and other is having 4.8 MB. So we are going to download the file with having the larger file size. So let's click on the download icon. So you are able to see that download has been started and our file has been downloaded. After going into file manager, you will be able to see that MySQL connector J drive has been downloaded. So here you have to select it and right click on it. Since this file downloaded into zip file, so we first of all we have to unzip it. So for unzipping it, we have to click on extract all. So you are seeing, seeing that we are extracting the file. Okay. So you could see that unzipping of file has been done and the normal folder has been created by default. So let's go to it. So here in services menu, we have to click on services. Thereafter, we have to click on databases. And right clicking on it, we have to click on new connection. After clicking on new connection, here you could see that the driver is showing by default. If the driver has not been shown, you have to click here and add the driver. For adding the driver, you have to click on new driver. or you could select connector J driver which, whichever you want to select thereafter adding it for adding it you will be shown to the file manager and here you have to select that file after selecting that file you have to click on next so here you could see that you have to enter the password the password required is of the MySQL password because when you were uh, installing the MySQL at that time you must have created a password that pass that password you have to log in here thereafter you have to click on test connection since you are able to see that connection succeeded thereafter you have to click on next again click on next and here you could see that we have to click on finish. So doing any type of programming in NetBeans ID, we have to create project. So here we are going to create the project. So for it, you will have to click here. So here you have to click on new project. 
and clicking on new project you have to select java with and thereafter here you are able to see that java application and you have to click on next here the project name is showing by default if you want to keep this name keep this otherwise if you want to change it you could change it and thereafter you have to click on the finish button so here you are able to see that new project is being created a new project has been created in the first step we have to expand the java application 27 so here we will click here thereafter we have to right click on libraries after right clicking on libraries here you have to add jar folder so click on it after clicking on it you have to again add the file connector jar file okay so we will add this file so you could see that mysql connector jar has been added here so further we will start the our programming or coding so here we have to establish the connection for establishing the connection we have to use the connection class and connection class is found in java.sql package so first of all we will import that connection class so for that we will use import java.sql after importing the connection class we have to create a object so here we will create an object class is the name of a class so here we are going to use the class for registering our driver to register our driver we have to use for name method so here we are going to use the for name method so we have to pass the url of the class through for name method so we have to pass the same url through it so the url which i have written here you could see here this is the url so you have to write the same url and here you could see that an error is showing with the red line to remove that error you could manually use try or catch method otherwise you will have to click here after clicking here you have to click on surround statement with try and catch so as you could see that after clicking on it the error has been gone so the object which we have created there we have to write here so we will write the object which has been created so we will write c equal to driver manager so for taking the driver manager we will have to import it as we have imported the driver manager in the previous steps similar way we have to import the driver manager so i am importing the driver manager as you could see here we will write a dot after writing a dot connection method will be shown here so you have to use get connection method so here we have to pass the database url for passing the database url we will pass the three elements that is database url database password and database username here we have passed the url so after passing the url you could see here the port number is showing here and the port number is 3306 so you have to write here the name of the database which you have used so we have used mysql so we will write here mysql after using the root we have also write the password so we are writing the password you could see that here the error is showing in the red color to remove that error we will click here after clicking here we will use add catch clause so error has gone thereafter we will print that c we have completed each and every step so this is the final step we have to run our program so let's run our program and see that our program is working or not so here you could see that we have received the output so i think that this video was helpful to you as I have explained each and every step in very brief. So, if this video was helpful to you, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.